Good morning everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install as well as use the character creator because there have been quite a lot of questions, a lot of people are really confused on how to actually save their profiles so that when New Genesis finally does come out, you're just able to port over all of your presets, load them, save it onto your new character and you're good to go. So first things first, you got to come to the website over here and download the actual uh, program. So it is 2.8 gigabytes, so it is a little bit big. All right, so that's the first thing. If you guys are having trouble finding this page, it is the first link in the description below. All right, so you're going to download this first. Once it's downloaded, you're going to notice that it's actually in a zip file. So you're going to need to uh, unzip it and uh, put it in like a regular file like this. And then once you double click into it, there will be an exe file, which you just install. All right, you just install the character creator setup and then it will create a shortcut on your desktop. Now before we launch the character creator, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily. So if you do play this game, I'd really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. Once you launch the character creator, you'll be greeted with this screen right here and you want to go to environmental settings over here. Just make sure that it is in the right screen size or resolution that you play on. I personally play on 1080p because my monitor is 1080p, so this is the only size that I get to use. But if you play at a higher resolution, you could always go to window mode over here and drag it all the way up to 4K if you want to play it at 4K. But uh, for me, you know, not necessary 1080p. The sound settings over here, nothing you really need to do. You can mess around with surround sound, lower the BGM as well as the sound effects if you want. And then you just click on save settings. But since I didn't change anything, I'm just going to click on back and discard all my changes. And we're just going to start the game. So once you start the game over here, you're just going to press any key to continue. You're going to accept their terms and conditions. And over here is the part where you can go to options and go to graphics and change all your graphical settings. So your score is going to be based off a benchmark. So when you're using your PC, let's say you have like OBS open, you have like your streaming software, your recording software, whatever software open. Maybe you've got Google Chrome with like some music playing in the background that will all affect your score. And the score you're trying to aim for is at around 5,000 to 10,000. This is like medium, right? This is basically, hey, you're going to be able to play the game relatively well. Things are going to be fine. However, if it is under 5,000, then what you want to do is you want to start lowering different graphics. If you have a very weak computer, then you might want to turn everything to one first and just try to benchmark that. The game will not look very nice, but at least you'll be able to play the game relatively well. So the bare minimum you're aiming for is at least 5,000 points in order to just run the game okay so if you have a super duper strong computer then you just want to hit more than 10,000 anything above 10,000 and you'll be fine all right so while you're in the graphics tab over here you can go to simple graphic settings and click change right here and this will give you a bunch of recommended ones so you'll see that my recommend setting is 5 so when I set it at super and I did my benchmark I got 6,196 or something so it was all right but I wasn't very happy with the performance so I lowered it to three but you don't have to use the recommended stuff over here so for example let's say that I do want it on five because I want the graphics to look very nice what you can do now is you can manually turn off things that you don't want certain things such as bloom as well as volumetric fog over here as well as blur these things will kill your computer so if, try turning those off first and then doing the benchmark again and see if you can get a better score Remember over here, there is no confirm button. Once you've set that, you simply just click the X button to close and it will auto save. Okay, next thing is the character creation. So when you go into character creation over here, first of all, you're going to create whatever character you want. Human, human, cast, human, it doesn't matter. For me, I'm just going to do human, human type 2, type 3. And right here, there is creation data management. Here's where you can save your character presets or load your character presets. So you can see over here that I can load and I've got two presets. This is my regular outfit right here. And this is my old body type outfit right here. So I'm able to switch between both presets at a click of a button super duper easily. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to use the new Genesis body type right here. We're going to click confirm. It's going to ask you to type your name and this is basically saving your preset again so I'm gonna be overriding the previous preset of Karopi so just do that and boom character data has been saved to access this character data in the future please select it under load character data all right 
So once you have created your character, everything is done. You're going to get booted back to the main page over here. And once you're back in the main page, you're going to click on start benchmark. And now depending on your hard drive, the loading may be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, whatever. My loading is a little bit slow, even though I do use an SSD, but it's not the end of the world. It's still all right. Then right here, you're going to notice FPS. So your frames per second, as well as a score. So it's just going to keep running and then you can just look at the game's graphics right now and see if this is good enough for you. You know, if you're happy with how the game looks, that's great. If you're not, then maybe you want to uh, bump up specific sliders or lower certain sliders, so forth and so on. As you can see, my FPS is like, you know, it's hovering around, I want to say like 60 FPS on average. So I'm pretty happy about that. So you'll see now it hits another loading screen It's just loading the next bit. So you can see that my hard drive is probably my bottleneck because it's taking quite some time to load. And this part like kills my frames. So you can see over here that I'm getting like 40 frames, 30 frames. Uh, I switched the gun. Oh, I'm 60 frames again. And you just look at, basically I'm just looking at the score over here, just making sure that it hits over 5,000. And you'll see right here, wow, my teammates are helping me. This, this part, I think I lose frames here. Yeah, look at that, 25 frames right there. So you can tell that the, the clouds or whatever during that moment, those particle effects really killed my frames. But it's okay because on average, I think I have around 60 frames. So it's going to be specific moments where I dip, but most of the time I'll be good. You can see here I'm at like 4,000 points right now. I'm a little bit worried because, you know, the trailer is about to end. So I wonder if I got 5,000. Oh, I just passed the 5,000 mark. And we have a finish. And voila so you can see right here my score is 5660 this is on everything on five with a couple things turned down but you're gonna notice if I turn off the shadows or turn down the shadows the score is gonna be a lot higher so now we come back to new Genesis click the inner key let's uh, set these go to options and again go to graphic settings and this time we're gonna scroll to the bottom over here and we're gonna turn off certain things like texture filtering we're gonna turn this down to the lowest to binary uh, we're gonna turn our part no particle will leave at three cloud quality will turn that to two shadow quality will turn that to two and uh, we should be good Oh, anti-aliasing will turn that off as well all right so with all of those things turned off, let's try the whole test once more. So you can see over here, just by turning down the shadows as well as the FFX whatever, um, my score was able to go a lot higher. Went from like 5,000 something to 7,000 something. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be messing around with all of these settings over here until you find that sweet spot between performance and optimization. So, you know, texture filtering is not something that I really care about. So I turned that to binary while before it was on like anti times eight. I really don't care about that. So I turned that off. I turned down the cloud quality, which helped a ton. Maybe I can turn it to one and just not care about it. Shadow quality, turning this off also helped quite a bit. Uh, particle quality will also increase your score quite a bit, but you know, just mess around on your PC and see what works best for you. Now, the next question I get asked most often is, how do I know that my character presets are actually saved? So when you go to your documents over here and you go to Sega and you find Fantasy Star Online 2 underscore NGS underscore character creator underscore NA, all right, you find this folder. Once you double click on it, you're going to notice there is a .fhp folder or file, right? So this file is your presets. It's only one kilobyte. It's super duper small. And so depending on how many characters or how many presets you have, they're going to be titled whatever you titled them. So, you know, the character that you just saw in all those trailers is Karopi. So this is my regular preset. And I've got another preset, the one with the old body type, and that is Karopi 2. So let's say that you're like Azalera and you have like, you know, 69 characters over here. What you're going to do is you're going to make a folder on your desktop. So go to new over here and, and rename it as NGS presets or something, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to drag those in over here and have them saved here. So the reason why you might want to do that is because when you uninstall the character creator, it might uninstall the documents over here. I don't think it does, but just to be on the safe side, you know, you just want to back up your presets because you don't want to lose the hours of work that you put into making these presets, right? And then when New Genesis finally officially releases, so for example, over here it says Fantasy Star Online 2 NA underscore Steam, 
over here this will probably be renamed into like fantasy star online 2 underscore ngs underscore steam or underscore na underscore steam something like that you're just going to double click on here and you're simply just going to put the presets into this folder you're just going to highlight that drag that in and you'll be done and when you launch the game you're going to go to your presets and you'll find the presets there so you can just load it and you'll be good to go all right but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.